I already applied two coats of the white base color and one coat of the start to finish base and top coat on top of the white because I want it to be nice and shiny and you need two coats so it'll be opaque enough and it'll look like this and I let it dry because it needs to dry fully so when you put the striping brushes on it won't like smear and look bad so now it's time to do the design. I'm gonna start with the pink so you're gonna take it off take it out and you're gonna scrape off most of the polish put it over here and I'm gonna go on my pinky so you're gonna have you see on my thumb the colors coming out from near your cuticle so you're gonna just put your brush there and drag it up like that I'm doing the pink in the middle first and you can do I'm gonna do two on my pinky so then I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna do the same thing but I'm gonna do it a little bit longer I want them to be all different sizes like lengths like that so now I'm gonna dip it back in and I'm gonna go up to this finger so I'm gonna do three because it's a little bit larger They could be really short sometimes. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like, if you look at this, it's not perfect. But in the end, it'll look all coming together. And if you wanted, you can make it, like, longer on the pinky and then going shorter and shorter and then getting back longer. But I'm not doing that. You could do that if you want. You could be very creative and just... Have fun. And you don't, the only problem with the striping brushes is little things come from the top and they drip down. So you need to make sure to wipe that off on the neck of the bottle. And you, with the pink, it's not very opaque. So you need to have, sometimes if you barely have any polish on the brush, you need to make two coats. I'm not applying a lot of polish because I have a few more colors. And on my other hand, I realized that I did a little too much. So I'm going to try to do a little less. It's much easier than you think it is to apply this. It's pretty easy. And the thing is, when you do your thumb, make sure that both of your hands are resting on the table so your hand doesn't shake because you want to have a straight line. And if you don't have striping brushes, you could use a paintbrush and dip it in some polish. But it has to be, like, very thin. And if you have, like, those um, brushes that aren't, the striping, like the striping brushes that don't come in a bottle with polish, then you can use those dipped in nail polish. I just have these, so I'm going to use these. So now for the orange. This is a little bit darker, so I'm going to try to be a little more careful. So this time I'm going to do it in the middle of these two lines. Do a long one and then a short one over here. Uh, medium sized. There. And if you don't think it looks good, you could take a toothpick or a paper clip and could like scrape some of it off. There. But then I don't think it looked that good, so I'm just gonna go back over it. Nothing has to be perfect. It's just however you want it to be. Like some lines can be a little more curved if you want. And make sure to get it on all the sides.
Right now it looks just like lines, but that's what it is. <laughs> but it looks better when you add more colors on. So I'm going to put the yellow on and then I'm doing the silver hollow last because I want that to pop more because that's my favorite color of this. I love the sparkles. Okay, now for the yellow. This is the lighter color, so try to make it like pretty opaque, be like two coats if you need. There, just like that. Here, there's a lot of polish on there. You do not want a lot. You just want enough to cover the brush, but not, like you don't want a lot of drips. I think it looks much better with more colors, but you could use any color combo that you want. You could do like a light blue, purple, and green, or you could just stick with two colors, but I think you need like a few colors. And if you wanted, instead of doing a, a hollow striping brush, you could do a hollow top coat, but I don't like that. I like the striping brush on this nail art more. Okay, now for the best part, the hollow. So this especially, you need just a thin line or else it'll drip all over and you won't be able to see the design. And for this, you have to overlap pretty much. You just go over some lines and that's for all of them. Like you can... If it's pretty close together, you can just go over them if you want. But I think it looks better a little bit spread out. There. And I'm wearing my peel-off base coat under this, so it'll be easy to take it off. And you won't have to scrub with acetone or any other nail polish remover because it doesn't really come off. If you have any recommendations of ways to get nail polish off like glitter especially you can tell us and we might just try it out for you there and then the hot like sparkles okay so now you are done. And this is what it looks like in the end. So this is the finished product. I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe and feel free to comment any comments or suggestions that you have for us. I hope you like it and you can check out our Instagram at m.k.lifestyles with a Z. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.